Today, we reopened Starfleet Academy for the first time since the burn. Don't get cannot afford. Admiral, are you familiar with Earth's Renaissance painter? Star Trek. Starfleet Academy takes you on a voyage into the unknown corners of the Star Trek universe. This promising new addition appears to introduce a new narrative set within the iconic Star Trek universe. Prepare to embark on an experience that promises to capture the essence of Star Trek's tradition of exploration, diplomacy, and discovery. Starfleet Academy is where applicants to Starfleet's officer corps are trained in the fictitious universe of Star Trek. It was founded in 2161, when the United Federation of Planets was established. The motto of the Academy is Ex Astris Scientia, from the stars, knowledge. This is an abbreviation of the Apollo 13 slogan, Ex Luna Scientia, from the moon, knowledge. In turn, the Apollo 13 motto was inspired by the United States Naval Academy's motto, Ex Scientia, Tridents, which means, from knowledge, sea power. Star Trek is poised to usher in the next generation of Starfleet officers, CBS Studios announced. The Academy's main campus is located on or near Starfleet headquarters on Earth in and around Fort Baker, California, across the Golden Gate from San Francisco in Marin County. There are also other campuses, for example, Tom Paris attended a campus in Marseille, France. Starfleet Medical Academy is responsible for training Starfleet medical personnel. It only takes 200 students per year. It's one of the sub-campuses of the Academy system. One of the Academy's groundskeepers is a man named Boothby, played by Ray Walston, and first seen in the Star Trek The Next Generation episode, The First Duty. Boothby has advised and supported many students, including Jean-Luc Picard and Catherine Janeway, both of whom went on to become captains. 67SXC VLX, that a new series named Star Trek Starfleet Academy will be available on Paramount+. Plus. Unlike Star Trek Strange New Worlds, Star Trek Discovery, or Star Trek Picard, this live-action series will follow a new class of teen Starfleet cadets as they learn what it takes to become Starfleet officers. The show's official plot description promises blossoming friendships, explosive rivalries, first loves, and a new enemy that threatens both the Academy and the Federation itself. It also mentions that these cadets will be under the watchful and demanding eyes of their instructors which suggests that some legacy Star Trek characters may appear. The series will be created by Trek executive producer Alex Kurtzman and Nancy Drew and Tom Swift showrunner Noga Lando. Both will serve as executive producers and co-showrunners. It will be some time before Starfleet Academy appears on Paramount+. Plus. Production isn't set to begin until 2024, giving plenty of time for speculation. For the first time in almost a century, our campus will reopen to admit individuals with a minimum of 16 Earth years, or species equivalent, who aspire to push their physical, mental, and spiritual boundaries, and who value friendship, camaraderie, honor, and devotion to a purpose greater than themselves. The coursework will be rigorous. The instructors, among the brightest lights in their respective fields, and those accepted, will live and study side by side with the most diverse population of students ever admitted. The press release goes on to say, Today, we invite everyone who shares our dreams, goals, and values to join a new generation of visionary cadets as they take their first steps toward a brighter future for all of us. Apply now. Scientia ex astris. The announcement comes shortly after CBS Studios confirmed that Star Trek Discovery, which helped establish the now-defunct streaming platform Paramount+, Plus, as well as this new era of Trek on television, will conclude with its fifth season in 2024. Star Trek Strange New Worlds was renewed for a third season of 10 episodes, and Star Trek Lower Decks was renewed for a fifth season of 10 episodes. CBS Studios president David Staff now refers to Star Trek Starfleet Academy as the next chapter in this expanding franchise. According to staff, Alex Kurtzman and Noga Lando's version is a smart and thrilling take that celebrates the core principles of what Star Trek has always stood for, but through the eyes of the next generation of Starfleet's leaders. Starfleet Academy, timeline speculation. So where does this new show fit within the larger Star Trek canon? Kirk in the 21st century? TNG, Voyager, and DS9 in the 21st century? Picard season three in the 25th century? According to the news release, the timeline might be the 32nd century of Discovery. The phrase, for the first time in over a century, strongly suggests that the series will take place around 3190. In a season four episode, All Is Possible, we learned that Starfleet Academy was reopening after the events of The Burn, which had shut it down for nearly a century. 
By the end of Season 4, both Tilly and Kovic appeared to be connected with the restart of the Starfleet Academy, implying that they could appear in the Starfleet Academy series. In fact, it's probable that Discovery Season 5 may directly set up the Starfleet Academy series in 2024. However, Paramount has not yet confirmed the schedule for Starfleet Academy. We don't know if this detail confirms that the show will air immediately after Discovery. Who can say? There could have been other times in Starfleet history when the Academy was closed for a variety of reasons. As of now, all we know is that the show is taking place. It begins manufacturing in 2024, allowing for a 2025 release date. As of now, no cast members for Starfleet Academy have been confirmed. We've seen and heard about the Academy since the original series. Let's not forget that the opening sequence of The Wrath of Khan was shot on a command simulator at the Academy, which was later proven to be in San Francisco. Then, most famously, in the Next Generation episode, The First Duty, Season 5, Episode 19, we saw the Donald Tillman Water Reclamation Plant in Van Nuys, California serve as a location for the Academy. We also got to see some of the J.J. Abrams films, but we won't talk about them because they're terrible. At this point, it was fairly well recognized that the Academy was located in Horseshoe Bay, on the north side of the Golden Gate, just north of San Francisco. However, the producers of Picard and Discovery were unable to synchronize their thinking, as the shots appear to be highly different between the two shows. You may recall the beautiful touch, admittedly built up far too much, in the Season 4 Episode 3 episode of Discovery, titled People of Earth, in which the crew of the USS Discovery returned to embrace their beloved tree. So at the very least, everything will be incorporated into future canon. But this brings us back to the past. Everything is based on it. How much future technology will be incorporated, what the uniforms will look like, the status of the galaxy, who in Trek history is past and who is future. Everything. All we'll say is that we sincerely hope it's not the TNG Voyager DS9 era or late 24th century, but rather the Kirk movie era or late 23rd century. It could even be the Strange New Worlds era, placing it around the mid-23rd century. Alex Kurtzman and Noga Lando will be co-showrunners. We're all familiar with Kurtzman, but this will be Lando's greatest break yet, having previously appeared on the TV programs Nancy Drew and Tom Swift. Gaia Viola, another relative stranger in the sci-fi sector, will write the series premiere episode, but she has already written for the show Absentia. It's a blank canvas. Let's hope they create something that appeals to everyone. There's no information on the other alleged spin-off show, the Section 31-focused series, or Star Trek The Michelle Yeoh Show, as it was also known. If we're being honest, it appears the ship has sailed, but it was first contact date last week, so who knows what statement Paramount might make. Star Trek Picard and every episode of Star Trek shows are presently available exclusively on Paramount Plus in the United States. The shows are accessible internationally on Paramount Plus in Australia. Latin America, the United Kingdom, and South Korea, as well as on Pluto TV's sci-fi channel in Austria, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, and Switzerland. They're also available exclusively on Paramount Plus in Italy, France, Germany, Switzerland, and Austria. In Canada, they're broadcast on Bell Media's CTV sci-fi channel and streamed on Crave. And that's a wrap for today's video. If you enjoyed what you saw, give this video a big thumbs up and click the subscribe button below. To ensure that you don't miss any of our upcoming material, turn on the notification bell.